How's it going guys? Vincent here and today I'm going to be walking you all through uh, a 10 speed down to 9 speed conversion that I'm doing on my specialized LA road bike and before some of you ask aren't you going backwards um, in my opinion this is actually a leap forward this is an upgrade because I really like 9 speed shifters and the 10 speed shifters that are on this bike uh, they get me an extra gear back here and that's about it and um, in my opinion, 9-speed is a lot better. This is my 9-speed bike. It's a lot better because I have the same exact gear ratio, 11 to 28, but the chain can be bigger and bulkier so you get better chain life. Um, and these internal mechanisms within these shifters that allows the index thing is also a lot more robust uh, and it does a lot better. Um, and uh, in terms of maintenance, it's just a lot cheaper to have a 9-speed bike instead of a 10-speed bike. And uh, there's really, in my opinion, no reason why I have 10-speed. This bike I just built up because I had a 10-speed group set kicking around. So um, going from 10-speed down to 9-speed is, in theory, as simple as just changing these two shifters. Uh, and in theory, really, I just need to change this one shifter because uh, nothing's really changed in terms of the front chain ring. Um, so just changing this one shifter here and changing out the cogs on this with a uh, nine speed cassette uh, from Shimano because it's a Shimano group set. Um, and so basically what I need here, which I have right here, is a uh, nine speed Dura-A shifter. And I strongly recommend spending the money, uh, if you're gonna spend money, just spend it on the uh, shifters because these are the things that you interface with all the time and they play a huge role in terms of your shifting quality on the bike so big good place to spend money there um, so the operation is going to be taking off this which will involve taking off this uh, rear derailleur cable as well as the uh, brake caliper cable so this guy right here and then going to undo all of this bar wrap and uh, loosen the Allen key, which is inside there. It's a five mil. This will come off, and then I will slip on the nine speed one like this. So it's back on, put all the stuff back in, and change out the rear wheel. And it should be that simple. I'm also going to do the left thing here just so uh, my shifters match, and I don't know. All right, so um, yeah, I hope uh, you guys are interested in this stuff and uh, we'll cut to the next scene where I will have hopefully taken off all this stuff in the shifter, so end scene. So after we get off the uh, bar wrap, um, these bikes are pretty simple. You have two cables coming in and out of this uh, one shifter. So your right shifter is controlling your rear derailleur. So this cable housing right here uh, for this generation of 10 speed shifters uh, comes out here and then it threads and it goes underneath the bike uh, to here and then comes out here to actually pull a spring on this and make it go in board or outboard uh, to actually change which cassette you're in. And then uh, there's an additional uh, cable that goes in the back right here which is your rear brake cable if you're in America and um, so this one uh, comes out pretty easily. Uh, you just make sure to loosen up this Allen screw right there for the brake and this 5 mil right here for the rear derailleur. And then you pull the cables all the way through the shifter and then there's the 5 mil uh, inside here which hopefully you can see. But anyway, um, this thing now comes off like so and you can take this shifter off and put on a nine speed shifter. I'm going to do this off camera because I have two hands. So um, yeah, this is coming along and I'm going to do the same process for the left shifter and um, we'll get back to it and see how it looks. I'm going to show this stuff again because um, I didn't really do a great job showing it on the, on the uh, right shifter. Um, on the left shifter, I shall demonstrate more clearly. This is uh, your uh, front derailleur. So I loosened up this Allen key right here, which was five mil took out the cable like so and there's this cable housing right here which loops up into here and now that 
There's nothing holding the uh, cable. And at the other end, I can simply pull the cable out. Hopefully you can hear it. So that is the cable now out of this thing. This cable housing can just go anywhere now. And uh, the next thing that's in here is this front brake uh, cable. And so, can't really see it that well. Let me see. Deep down in there, that thing right there is the head of the brake cable. So what I'm going to do is loosen up this Allen key right here, which will free up this cable, which I can then pull through uh, this side out towards me. And then I can take this tape off, loosen up an Allen key in here, and then slide this all the way out. So um, this is pretty universal common design. The other types of shifters, the newer generation 10-speed shifters, what you see is that Shimano uh, and Campagnolo also um, stopped kind of doing this side out thing. They make the cable, they make the gear cable come out under through here too. And uh, in my opinion, that just makes it harder to service and more of a pain in the ass. Because uh, every time, I don't know, I just like this design a lot better. But I like 9 speeds even more than this 10 speed. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to get this out, this one out. I'm taking both off because if I decide to sell these shifters, it's easier to sell them as a pair than if I just sold the right shifter. So I'm um, going to do that. And it also will make my bike look... A little bit less wonky if it has the same generation of shifters up top so yeah okay and so with the old shifters off I am now putting on the uh, <laughs> new older shifters and um, you don't position it yet the main point of this part is just so that you can uh, get them on there so that they're in one place and this thing just kind of comes up here and then it slides up and then you tighten down the allen key inside of uh, this rubber part here and then I will hold it in place like on this side and then you can start reconnecting the brake cables for both shifters as well as the gear cables and then um, I would re-index them and yeah so this is coming along nicely guys so um project update on this bike i got the two old shifters off the new ones are put on um these are the brake cable housings and i also put in the brake cables so now this uh thing is kind of uh moving the brakes a little bit so hope we see that um the tricky thing on these was getting the uh old brake cable into the um, new shifter. I've never had brake cables fail on me because they are pretty thick. Um, so it's not really a big deal and I um, don't worry too much about those. Uh, you probably should if you're very obsessed with safety. But um, anyway, uh, the other thing that I did um, because I care about shift quality so much is uh, made new gear cable housings for my uh, gear cables and these I trim to length and put the ferrules on which are these black things at the end and then I also use a little pick uh, to flare out the uh, holes if you can kind of see um, and yeah I'm going to be replacing these gear cable housings um, on the bike and Hopefully, uh, I'm going to get this back together pretty soon, but it is coming along, and yeah. So after a uh, momentary break on working on this bike, um, I am now at the point where I have put on a new rear wheel, and this one has a 9-speed cassette right here, and this is so that I have 9 speeds now, because these are 9-speed shifters. Um, and then I also hooked up the brake lines onto it. Um, and now I'm going to be uh, putting in new uh, rear derailleur and front derailleur cable housings. So these black ones are the old ones and then these gray things are the new ones. I pulled the ferrules off and I stuck them on. And then I also used a uh, little pointy tool thing. I'm sure there's a technical term for this, a pick, to uh, flare out the insides of these holes if you can see that. Um, yeah, 
these holes, um, they when you cut them, uh, are asymmetric, and you need to make sure that they are flared out equally to make a nice circle. So I don't care about these black ones right now, and I'm going to install these new cables and also use some uh, grease so that uh, the cable has very little friction um, so that we get good uh, shifting for these indexed shifters. So stay tuned. Okay, and the bike is all put back together now with the two new nine speed shifters. Uh, I've got the front wheel brake calipers working. This wheel isn't uh, true, so it stops on its own, but I can uh, get it to stop with this brake lever that's working. So I got the brake cable housing and cable um, lined up and working through this caliper here. So that's good. Um, on this uh, right shifter, I have the rear brake cable working very well also. So you can see it work when I grab the uh, rear brake cable. So this is uh, hooked up correctly. And then I also have um, the rear derailleur indexed. So I do this you can see these gears shifting now um, and then we also have the uh, front derailleur shifting correctly as well so if I do this you can see it jump into the big chain ring when I do this it jumps into the little chain ring and when I shift up it shifts up and I shift down, it shifts back down. So this is indexed correctly on the front and rear derailleurs. The front and brake, front and rear brakes are working. So these shifters are good to go. And the last thing to do here is just to wrap up the bar wrap and uh, take this for a spin. Um, I do still have on the 10 speed chain as well as the 10 speed rear derailleur, as well as the 10 speed um, front derailleur. It's kind of stupid to say this is a 10 speed front derailleur. Um, this is, um, the front derailleurs are only really meant for two chain rings, side note, but um, something I am considering maybe doing is swapping out this chain for a 9-speed chain, um, but it's a good 10-speed chain that I can use and uh, it will be compatible because um, it is. Um, but yeah, so this whole thing is pretty much done now and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps anyone who might be doing the same thing.